impressed. It was my first time I've seen futsal, and, and clearly this is at a very high level. But uh, really impressed with the, with the fitness, with the skill level, and clearly this is part of the future. It's nice to train in front of the committee and Dave himself, the chairman, just to get give him an insight into the game. And we, we train well, we always train well and train hard, but it was nice to kind of show our efforts to the chairman. It was great. Yeah, it was really, that was really, 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 really good. Is that the first time? First time. It is the first time. Well, it's an excellent achievement for the lads that um, you know represented uh, the futsal squad, and for someone like uh, David to come along and hand them out is, is a big honour for everyone. The ball's smaller. Um, it's a little bit heavier, um, so that it's easier to control. You know, and it keeps the game flowing quick. You've got to be very intelligent. You've got to be good defensively. You've got to be good attacking, um, and you've got to be quick with your feet. And very, like I said, intelligence is probably the most important thing. I always quite like five-side football and smaller side stuff. For various reasons and I think this would have suited me yeah I, th I was very very skillful so um, uh, I think it would have uh, suited me well I'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry I'm a little bit too late for it. Even just to dream two or three years ago that the uh, that the chairman would be here or watching us train it would have been uh, a million miles away from that so the, the programs moved forward and I think the the way that we're communicating the program to the wider audience is also getting better so uh, that was probably the pinnacle of what we've been aiming at for the last three or four years. I admire the work, the dedication, what you put into this. Um, I think you're, doing, you're making the best of yourselves as players, and I think, as I understand it, doing a great job in publicising this, this um, development. My congratulations to you all and my thanks for your dedication. It's a great honour, you know, just to play one game for your country is a, is a special occasion, but to be lucky enough to play 50 is something I'm very proud of. It's, it's just a great honour, just for us guys, it's, it's the honour to play for your country and the pride to put on that England shirt and wear the three lines. For them to get an opportunity to get their caps today and feel like Steven Gerrard's the Wayne Rooney's of this world, it's a, a tremendous honour. They invest an enormous amount of time in the England futsal setup, you know, giving up days um, from work and from study to to come to training camps and to attend matches abroad. Um, it's, you know, this, these are the kind of moments that uh, uh, they play futsal for. England's still got some way to go before we can challenge uh, the likes of Brazil and Spain and Portugal of this world. So they've had uh, been playing futsal for uh, 50, 60 years, those nations, and they have well-established uh, futsal structures. We're starting to see real growth in schools and colleges and universities with young people really uh, taking the game to heart. So I think the future is really bright. Just for the chairman coming today, it's the first time he had seen the game and he, he loved it straight away. And for kids, it's, it's a great development tool for their game of football. Uh, you're going to get plenty more touches on the, on the ball rather than a level of you're outside in the cold and waiting for the ball to come. You're always going to be involved in the game. It improves your attacking, your defending. So no matter where you're on the court, you're going to be involved. Lots of big names who would put a lot of their skill development and for their early uh, development during those formative years down to futsal. Um, I mean, everybody reels off your Messi's, your Cesc Fabregas's, your Ronaldo's, but there's a, there's a longer list than that. The new Brazilian sensation, Neymar, we've got some footage of him actually playing futsal at a very, very young age. And the interesting thing is he's doing a lot of the similar things on a, a football field now that he was doing on a futsal court when he was quite young. So there's lots of aspects of the game that really fit into both young player development, but it's also great for the adults. I haven't met a group yet who, having played it, have said we don't like it. I really think it's going to develop. I mean, we've been over to France and especially Spain. We went over there to do a training camp. We trained with some of the best Spanish players in the World Player of the Year, Kike. We trained with him and we, we weren't far off. I mean, obviously they're great players, but we really gave it a go. And technically we're getting there. We're developing every, every time we train. So I think we'll be there a few years if we keep up this momentum, definitely. I think within the last three or four years, uh, the strategy that the, the FA has put together has really increased participation rates. Um, it's, it should be seen as almost football's little brother. It's not trying to take over. There is a, a genuine pathway for players to engage with the game, but still enjoy 11-a-side football as well. And I think we want that synergy between the two. I've been uh, lucky enough to be involved in the development of the St George's Park facility and the futsal facility uh, at, at that tremendous uh, venue. So, um, and it's great that futsal is part of the uh, life and blood of the FA. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we're looking through St George's Park and generally through youth development and so on to develop skill-based football. This is the key. Greater skill, and there's so much being aimed at that, and futsal clearly has a really important part to play. Yeah.